Sagittarius have the Five of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Strength card. So, <clears throat> you, basically, you, Sagittarius, are having a lot of people who was playing the A <laughs> coming back to you, right? Playing a donkey, they're coming back to you. Because here you, Sagittarius, are living your life, doing your own thing not even being preoccupied with what with what an ex or someone that you were romantically interested in got to say y'all are living your lives y'all are doing your own thing five of swords and the six of cups represents them it represents here it is that they they come back now trying to talk to you and why are they doing that they're doing that because all the goofy stuff it is that they was doing when they was overvaluing themselves, like what normally people do, they overvalue themselves. They think that, you know, it's cute to be playing all these games and it makes them more attractive. <laughs> and then when somebody's being serious with them and you said it is like, look, I'm not playing with you. Pick a side. What do you want? Messing around and doing all this this monkey stuff, right? jumping around and doing all these games, you Sagittarius is like, all right, I'm gone. So here y'all are living your lives, existing, doing whatever it is that you doing, right? And here it is that they found themselves coming back, even with all that excessive value that they seem to have. Hey, what's Sagittarius? What's going on with you? <laughs> so now, right, the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups represents all of this with all of this value that they seem to have, what's up? Why are they coming back in the first place? You know, why is it that they're coming back in the first place? What's up? What is going on with them? You know, they, they you know, they on some, uh, they on some nonsense now. Like, what is up? Um, and the thing is, And the thing is, because I'm trying to block out the noise and the cat entered into the room and it's like, <sighs> that was the whole point, you know what I'm saying? To block out the noise. But anyway, so you Sagittarius now, now like, okay, um, so, so what's up? What's going on with you? Like, why are you back here? Right? You're the one that has all the value. Why are you back here all of a sudden? And the star card, right? The star card represents basically they're dry begging. What is dry begging? They're dry begging in a sense of they're trying to beg, but making they're they're basically begging, but making it trying to they're making it seem like, oh, I'm giving you another chance. That's dry begging. I'm giving you another chance. You didn't ask for another chance, you know, but they're dry begging, you know trying to make you think that it was your idea. This is what I mean when I say that these these games that people play, yo, like, oh, they're so lame. But anyway, it's so lame. Like, how can somebody do this type of stuff and think that they're in a powerful position? But anyway, well, well, no, they don't think that they are in a powerful position. That's the point. That's why they're playing it in the first place. But it, 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 when you are not playing into the game, it makes them look worse. But anyway, anyway, so the so they're dry begging, right? So so that's what they came to do, right? They're begging. The page of swords and the chariot now is about how, um, but they didn't really expect you to ask them those type of piercing questions because you Sagittarius are asking questions like, what's up? What's going on? What's, you know, what's up with you? How are you, you know, like what's going on with you? How are you doing? What's up? What is up? What's going on? The page of swords and the chariot is like, them like, okay. Uh, <clears throat> they don't like the questioning. They don't like the questioning because you know, 
they're going to try to make it seem like, oh, you should just hang out with them again. And it's like, no, keep questioning. Like, no, tell them, nah, you need to go ahead and, and find out the answer. <sighs> you need to go ahead and find out the answer to that question. Why? Why is it that they're back? Why are they goofy selves back? Because that's the worst thing in the world for you to do to somebody who's playing all these games is to ask questions. Because what it does is, if people, it, it, it forces them to answer, basically. <laughs> because if they just, if they just withdraw and they just don't say anything about that and they just, and they just go, nah, just do it. Whatever the case may be. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Just do what? No, I'm not going to just do it. You tell me why or I'm out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's going to happen is. Now it's like, again, they've painted, you've painted them, you've, you've painted them and they've helped you paint them into a corner. Now it's, they have to answer that question and the end, or they have to act, they have to wild out. Either way, you're going to see just how much it is that they can't stand to be around you because they're dysfunctional around you. Why? Because they like you. But the problem is you're not supposed to be able to get them. These are stupid games that people are playing. My gosh. My gosh, these games are so stupid. But in their, but in, right, the way that they're trying to play it off is you're not supposed to be able to have me. You're not supposed to be able to get me. So I can't, I can't directly answer that question. Now, some people will answer the question, but most of the times they're not going to answer the question. What they're going to do is, they're gonna act like, well, I don't know what it is that you're talking about, or they'll they'll try to pick an argument with you. Don't argue with them, because again, page of swords in a chariot. You now on you now running them down basically. You now questioning them. You now on their trail, right? You're on a hunt for the answers now, and they can't stand it. They was expecting you to. Just kind of go along to get along, right? With the six of cups and just be like, oh, okay, but you Sagittarius are like, nah, why Why would, how does that benefit me hanging out with you? It doesn't. So now they have to tell you, why, why, give me a reason. Why would I want to hang out with you after, after we've already hung out the first time? Or I should say the first time around when you had a chance, you want me to give you another chance? Is that what it is that you asking me to do? After I know for a fact that the two of us don't don't mix well, we mix like water and oil. Are we? Are, is that what it is that you're saying? And the thing about it is that the fool and the two of cups is about how some of them are going to be like, forget about it. Then forget about it. You know, a lot of them are going to be like, forget about it. Then they're not going to want to give you an answer. But the fool, right, represents you in the sense of you. Like, okay, good because. You you wasn't the one to contact them. They contacted you. So forget about it. You wasn't trying to go hard and trying to holler at them or whatever the case may be. You wanted the truth. Trust me. You, trust me when I tell you that they like you. Because I've done interacted like that with a couple of people that, that did and said some terrible things about me. And, and when the truth came out, they told me they wanted, to, they wanted to, to be with me. They wanted to start a family. They wanted to be married to me. They wanted to be in a relationship with me. That was, that was the answer, right? On both, on both times. So trust me when I tell you, real crazy situations. Look, trust me when I tell you, it's because they like you, okay? Because <coughs> a few times, <coughs> I actually did get the answer. Let's clarify the fool. It's not what it is that you're thinking. Trust me. You may you may be thinking to yourself, yo, why is this person always adversarial with you? They adversarial with you because they, they like you. So let's clarify the, the fool. You have the death card. King of Swords, then you have the world, and then you have the Four of Pentacles. So again, you questioning them is really is really um, blowing away all of their delu all of their illusions, or you seeing through all of their d 
delusions, which is something that they don't want you to do. They want you to remain distract, distracted by the anger and the frustration. They don't want you to see that they really do like you. And the thing about it is that the world and the Four of Pentacles is about you, um, you Sagittarius having to understand, don't get so bent out of shape. Don't get upset. Just know, when, because I know what I'm talking about. I don't know everything, but I've been around this block a few times, even though I'm 32. I have a lot of experience, trust me. Um, they like you. And the world and the four of pentacles, let that be your closure. Let that be not only your closure, but also now you know what it normally means. Not all the time, but normally. Now you know what it normally means. So for you, you can finally move forward without having to wonder, like, why is this person doing that? It's because they like you. So treat them like that, but don't accept them back, but understand the reason why they're doing what they're doing. They're coming back and they're doing this. It's because they like you, okay? That's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. Listen, at ten, I'm almost at 10K subs, yo. Shout out to all the people who's been doing the subscribe and shout out to all the people who've been watching. Um, definitely getting back. Appreciate you. Um, and if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, it's kareemspareworksyahoo.com or you can click the link in the comment section below called the link tree and it'll uh, redirect you to a website which are all the ways you can financially help me out, right? Keep the show going. Peace.